Today we're taking a look at the Fanjang S101Q series 1TB SATA SSD. Thanks to Fanjang for sending this solid state drive over for the video. These S101Q series solid state drives are definitely in the mid-range for SATA drive options in 2024. These are really targeted for people adding bulk solid state drive storage to a gaming PC or a workstation or even breathing some life into a laptop if you have a standard SATA port. This SSD is rated for a maximum write speed of up to 510 megabytes per second and a read speed of up to 560 megabytes per second. The solid state drive utilizes QLC NAND coupled with HMB technology as opposed to traditional DRAM in order to keep the costs low. DRAMless drives definitely sometimes get a bad rap, but HMB equipped drives have really surprised me lately. They seem to be getting better and better. I would say that this drive is relatively fast or as fast as most of the other SATA drives that I've used. HMB involves reserving a tiny amount of system memory to essentially replace that onboard DRAM for solid state drives. This will help with endurance and overall performance of your solid state drive. I set up this solid state drive as a storage drive for games and files on my Ryzen 9700X test system. For reference, I'm running 32GB of DDR5 6000 CL28 G scale memory and my ASUS RTX 4070 Super. In terms of the performance testing, I ran the Crystal Disk Mark 8 benchmark on this solid state drive to get a feel for the performance. I saw about 520 megabytes per second write speed on average, and about 550 to 560 megabytes per second read speed on average. As for the 3 d Mark solid state drive testing, the S101Q averaged about 180, 182-ish megabytes per second in terms of the bandwidth testing, and it had an average access time of about 180 microseconds. Given that this is a SATA drive, I would say it performed relatively well considering the price and the warranty. The S101Q comes in a 256 gig version, 512, and one terabyte capacities, which is what I have here today, but you can also go for some higher capacities. They do offer this in a two and four terabyte version as well. The one terabyte model has an endurance rating of 320 terabytes written, and the two terabyte and four terabyte versions scale up at 640 terabytes written and 1,280 terabytes written on the four terabyte. For typical gaming PC usage, workstation usage, or just an old laptop, this is definitely plenty of endurance, this drive should easily last several years for most people. I always reference that I do have some older generation Samsung and Intel SSDs still going strong and they're in the mid 200s in terms of terabytes written, so I'm pretty confident that these drives will last most people a very long time. Fanjing warranties these solid state drives for 5 years, which is quite good for a SATA drive in my opinion. Given that the drive is QLC NAND and it does use HMB instead of DRAM, I think it performed relatively well in the testing or benchmarking, and I really would not have an issue using this drive for games or files if I needed something that was a little bit faster than a hard drive, but I didn't have a huge budget for that storage. The S101 Cube kind of fits in perfectly in that scenario. Right now, the one terabyte version of this drive is going for about 55 bucks on Amazon, and the two and four terabyte versions are going for 106 and 210. So definitely a little bit more value in the higher capacities if you can use it now or if you plan on growing into that. We all know there won't be any shortage of sales on Steam, Epic, or GOG. So definitely something to think about. If you're looking for a brand new SATA drive, I definitely think this is a solid pick. I'll have an affiliate link to the one and two terabyte versions in the description below, as well as the entire test bench that I used in the video. So definitely head down there and check it out if you want to pick one of these up. If you're into gaming and product videos like this one, get subscribed to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. There's quite a bit on the channel, so definitely check out the back catalog of builds and product videos. Until next time, keep on gaming.